From one of our lectures, we derived the magnetic field produced by a long straight current carrying conductor. So for example, if you have this portion of wire and current flows continuously through this wire in this direction, we wish to calculate the magnetic field at this point. Let's say that this point is at a distance r from the source of magnetic field. So again, from our previous lecture, the magnetic field produced by this wire is equal to mu naught i over 2 pi r. But what if I'd like to calculate the line integral of magnetic field around a closed path like this arbitrarily shaped closed path? So apparently if I choose this point and let's say that it is at a distance r sub 1, so it has a magnetic field based on the right hand rule. It has a magnetic field in this direction. And also if I choose this path here, its magnetic field is in this direction. And its distance from the source is R sub 2. So based on this figure, the magnetic field at a distance R sub 1 from the source has a different strength or magnitude with the magnetic field that is at a distance r sub 2 from the source. So it's really difficult if I'd like to evaluate the dot product of the magnetic field to the integral path along this closed curve. It would be difficult for me because I cannot take this magnetic field outside the integral sign because it is varying along this path. The magnitude of the magnetic field is dependent on the integral path. In other words, it's really difficult to evaluate this integral if your integration path does not possess equidistant points from the source. Let's consider an integration path that is symmetric with respect to the source. Now when I calculate the integral of b, dotted to dl and I have a closed path, I can now take out b out of the integral sign because b is the same or constant along any point along this integration path because if I choose this point for example, it has a distance r from the source and if I choose this point, it also has a distance r from the source. So essentially, the magnetic field is the same along all points on this current loop. So this becomes b dotted to dl. Again, the circle in the integral sign means that I have a closed integration path. If I want to get rid of this dot product, I'll just get the magnitude of this dot product by getting the projection of b along dl using cosine theta. And based on this figure, anywhere along this path, bl is always tangent with the integration path. So this is actually cosine 0, which means this is equal to 1. So again, let me rewrite it here. b dotted to dl is equal to b integral of dl. And based on the figure, if this integration path has a radius of r from the source, then this integral here is actually equal to b times 2 pi r. But then again, we already derived the magnitude of this magnetic field. This actually has a direction that circles along this source so basically in cylindrical coordinates this must be phi hat anyway the only relevant terms here are the magnitude so basically this has a magnitude of b equals mu naught i over 2 pi r so if i plug this here so i'll have mu naught i over 2 pi r times 2 pi r so the integral of b dotted the dl is equal to mu naught i and this i current is obviously enclosed by this integration path. So the only relevant current in this calculation is the enclosed current by our integration path. So this must have a subscript of enclosed. Because we were able to derive everything based on the assumption that the current that we are calculating is enclosed in the integration path. So this relationship has a special name and we call this as Ampere's Law. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell button for awesome updates. Thank you for watching!